<laughs> and here we are. Welcome. I'm Jessica Hentoff, Jessica the Circus Lady. Welcome to Circus Harmonies Up in the Air live stream, graciously hosted by City Museum, which is also the home of Circus Harmony. Uh, usually I already have my coffee poured, but this is a magic cup. Let's see if it works when you're pouring it out of a coffee pot. But if you watch the magic cup, and if we're lucky, uh, this cup was from Cirque du Soleil's show Lucia, which a year ago I was visiting in Vancouver, where three of our students were performing. Uh, it has to be really hot, but yep, it's working little by little. You're getting the magic of Mexico coming on this heat sensitive cup. The cup, of course, contains Circus Harmony's Defy Gravity Coffee which you can get at Circus Harmony on our website, or there's a link in the description. So this is great coffee. When you buy the coffee, it supports our Flying Children's Scholarship Fund and young people who might go on to a career with Cirque du Soleil. Also at this time a year ago, one of our other students was performing with Cirque du Soleil's Christmas show. Uh, Twas the Night Before was the name of that show. A lot can happen in a year but we still need you to support our flying children and you can get more information at circusharmony.org on our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, uh, while we're waiting for more people to join, I'm going to show you a video that features today's very special guest. We've had the whole rest of his family on, so it was time for him to come to. But first, let me see if I can show the video. For those of you who come to this live stream every week, Tuesday at four o'clock on City Museum's Facebook page, you know I am a techno peasant. And so we'll see what happens when I try and share the page and share the video. And if it ever goes really smoothly the whole show, it means the end of the pandemic is near. So here's hoping. Go to share screen. Okay, it is indeed uh, the anniversary of John Lennon's death, but let's go to a different page, hopefully. So this is a practice video featuring the Bailey family. And our special guest today is the father of this family. And here's them practicing. Here we go. Uh, That's a brand new trick they just started practicing called the double cross. This is different. This is a pyramid. This is amazing. Be amazed, audience, be amazed. That's really hard and they're doing a great job. The family that abides together, rides together. This is what happens behind the scenes. You see a smooth act, but there's all this practicing. Can you imagine doing this with your children or with your parents? 
I hope you can. That's another great trick, a double pinwheel. Drum roll, please. Ta da. <laughs> so that gives you a little taste of what it's like to be practicing with your family. Let's see if I can get back to the regular Zoom. One can only hope. Ah, stop share. Ta da. So I I'm hoping that this is live on Facebook. I'm trying to watch it on my phone to make sure and see if anybody has comments, but that's not working. So already there's that techno peasantry coming through. But the Bailey family is made up of Leah, the mom, Philip is the youngest, Dennis is the middle, Elliot is the oldest, and then the patriarch of the family, Lou. So we're gonna bring Lou in right now. Again, technology willing. Please welcome to the Up in the Air live stream, Lou Bailey. That was a drum roll. Yay. He's sideways, but he's here. Speaking of techno peasantry, you're sideways. Hi. Hi. I'm sideways. You are sideways. How about now? Is that, that better? That was a good circus entrance, though. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome to Up in the Air. Uh, I know sure. you've seen some of them because your yep. whole family has been on them. That's uh, correct. Show them your shirt. Show them you're wearing the Yikes shirt. Tell them what Yikes. Yikes, uh, Yikes is our um, unicycle club. Uh, uh, that's it's our that's what we call unicycle club. Yikes. Yikes. Because it's and usually unicycle club. Well, the club isn't meeting because it's so cold. If it's ever right. over 50 degrees on a Sunday, meet us at Hudson Park. Information's on the website. But well, we have unicycle yeah. classes online, um, yep. and some of those video clips that they just saw actually happened during an online unicycle class or a series of online unicycle right. classes. So, how did you end up when? <laughs> Uh, that's our later guest in the oh, later. yeah. How did you end up running away and joining? Well, um, it had a lot to do with my family. Uh, the boys had been participating at Circus Harmony for uh, some time. And my wife, Leah, had signed up for uh, Unicycle Club as well as juggling club, which were both uh, simultaneous or one after the other rather. And I had sat out the first couple of weeks as they were doing their thing. And I was unsure. I was unsure of participating. Um, and because as- age i mean you're in but well i just wasn't sure about the whole thing it was just i wasn't i didn't think i was ready for it or i just i didn't have any confidence in me doing something new i guess and that had a lot to do with it i think um but after seeing leah uh ride around um you know and in the very beginning um i decided I should do it too. I mean, I was just sitting around watching them, my family do something together and I was feeling a little left out. Well, and I do want to say that we have a lot of audience members when the museum is open and we're doing shows and you could always tell when you were in the audience. You are- Well, uh, loud. Enthusiastic yeah. audience member. Yep. Um, I am uh, generally th enthusiastic, yes. Um, I'm loud um, and I think that comes from um, possibly my coaching days in sports and uh, being positive and encouraging uh, those that are 
actively uh, doing things, whether it's on the field or it's in the uh, circus ring. Um, and I think being What's a your coach, an, I didn't know you were a coach. What did you? Coach? Yeah, uh, I started years ago. The first coaching I did was uh, just before I joined the Air Force. I was coaching my uh, little cousin. I think she was five or six years old. Uh, soccer team. Uh, it was swarm ball. Um, but it was that was my first experience with coaching. And then I uh, coached the boys later on and uh, for various sports. And um, part of what we do is, as a parent, encouraging and coaching them to do some of these things that um, some of these activities that they're doing with Circus Harmony um, have come naturally. Some of them they've really had to work at. Um, well, and so boys are also different. And they have very true. different strengths and weaknesses. They do. Um, and for things that come naturally, obviously you're positive about it, but also when you can see that um, if one of them is really working hard at something and it's not, it's not uh, working uh, to their liking, um, the best thing to do is to keep encouraging them and to keep them going. Um, and I have three boys and at any given time, it could be any one of them. And um, it just happens, it just does. And, uh, but being part of seeing what they've done uh, has been pretty rewarding uh, to say the least, it's been amazing. And to be a part of the unicycle aspect of it um, has been uh, incredible, yeah. Was it hard for you to start doing something that your kids could already do? Yeah. Oh, for sure. And that was part of my reluctance to even start. Uh, Leah didn't have that or she didn't have any reservations about it, but I certainly did. Um, and obviously, I'm glad I got over it because we've really been able to do some fun things together. And I'm very thankful uh, for that, for them to be uh, willing to do something with their parents. Um, you know, you know all the other been, kids think you guys are really cool parents. Well, we we might be cool in some ways, um, but we are certainly enjoying our time uh, with Circus Harmony and and everything that goes along with it. Yeah, I also need to thank you. You're such supportive parents in so many ways. We needed a bus driver. Leah went and got this really yeah. hard license to drive the bus. We needed right. a seagull to be able to perch on a dock and you made that happen. It yep. was a, not a live seagull, no live seagulls were used to making the fluente because this is the Midwest and we couldn't get a good ocean seagull. Um, but you've just always been so willing to step up and, and help in so many ways. And we really, I, I just wanna say thank you. Also, I wanna say happy anniversary. Last week was your 20th anniversary and how old are the boys now? Thank you. Um, the boys are, Elliot is 16, Dennis is 13, and Philip is 10. So they're growing up fast um, because as you know, they started, they had taken classes when they were, you know, uh, seven and eight or, or they, they were young. They younger. were really so, little and Philip yeah. was too young. They took like yeah. a half day class, but then yeah. we found you when we started Peace Determines Ferguson Right. You live yeah. in the heart of Ferguson. We do. We do. Uh, we've lived here for, it'll be eight years, I think, this spring, or maybe it's already been eight years and we're going on nine years. It's hard to tell in 2020, but um, I can tell you that uh, we've lived here uh, for a number of years and we really like it here. And um, being able to participate in uh, Peace Through Pyramids was a great opportunity for us and for the boys. Um, and uh, we've also been able to go to Hudson Park for your classes that you've held there. And sure. it's pretty easy to get to the city museum from here too. Since, since you're on, and you did mention Hudson Park, I think sure. I would be remiss if I would not give you an opportunity to talk about your other love besides your wife and your children That's and right. unicycling. Disc golf. Disc yeah. golf. Um, so for people like so, me who didn't know, who don't, might not have known what it is or don't know what it is, Yep. So disc golf has been around for many years, uh, since the uh, 70s, mid 70s. And it's a sport that's been growing uh, exponentially. And I got started uh, 
around the time Elliot was born. And so we're, um, we're going further back. Disc golf is like yeah. frisbee golf. Would that be a good description? That's that's what it is. It's frisbee golf is um, uses frisbee type discs, plastic, um, and it's the same rules as ball golf. And um, you're going from one point to the next instead of uh, using a, a stick or a club. Uh, you're using your own arm and you're throwing the disc uh, forward. Yeah, so it's the same concept. You're trying to get it into the uh, uh, the basket, the target, um, in the same amount of or less throws than um, in the same concept. And there's um, a beautiful disc golf course in Hudson Park that you created. Or I was part of it. Yes, um, we talked to. There was a small group of us who approached the city about five years ago, and they loved it. They loved the idea. It was an opportunity to bring people into the into the town, into the city, and it worked. Um, and we have class. We There's also, always somebody going through in all ages. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it's an all age. Uh, Activity for the family for a variety of uh, for a variety of reasons. It's inexpensive. Men, yeah, it's people. inexpensive to play. Yeah, because yeah. you only need one or two discs. I mean, I have more than that. Um, but I, <laughs> um, but it's it's one of those things where, at least for Hudson, we approached many of the um, businesses here locally um, to sponsor and to support us. And we would not have been able to install the golf course at Hudson had it not been for all the, the local support and the businesses that we got. Um, because we didn't have any money to do it. The city didn't have any money to do it. So we raised all the money to install the baskets and, um, and then the various maintenance things that go along with it. Um, so it's been pretty amazing um, all these realize. years later what a wonderful community Ferguson is because most people on the news, they have seen the opposite. And yet my, I live the next town over, I live in Florissant. Florissant and when yeah. we decided to start Peace Through Pyramids and looked up Ferguson, um, we started at the library because the yeah. library was a place when everything else shut down, Scott Bonner, bless him, kept the library open. Right. So kids had a place to go. And then when we outgrew the library, and even still yet, the library is open and you can get anything fact, anything they do curbside, Ferguson Library, yep. amazing. And then when we outgrew that, uh, St. Stephen's the Vine, yep. which is yep. Yep. Uh, Episcopal Church community organization combined, they let us practice there and they also have a food pantry. They have these monthly meals that we've performed at over the, you know, pre-COVID, they organized a winter right. market. And then what you're saying is that the businesses chipped in to make that happen. There's also the Ferguson Farmers Market is amazing. Yep. And the Vine was one of those groups that supported us. Uh, they were one of the first uh, to, to jump in and, and support us. So St. Stephen's has done a lot for um, for Circus Harmony, obviously, and, yeah. and for us too. So it's it's been very thankful to have groups and organizations and businesses um, that believe in this community and uh, realize that it's um, it's just a wonderful place to be. Even right they now, do. they do a free um, produce and grocery. They do. Thing on yeah, it's a days between 10 and 12. If you just look up the Vine or St. Stephen's, it's all on there. And how would they, if somebody wants to start with disc golf, okay. how do you start? Besides um, being friend. There are um, plenty of things online you can do. You can look up uh, Ferguson Disc Golf um, on Facebook. That's our group. And if you have questions about it, you can certainly ask us there. And or if you have um, other uh, questions about how, there are plenty of how to's out there on YouTube and stuff like that. So you can figure out. Uh, the process and how uh, to do things and how to throw correctly. It's um, there is a way to throw correctly, um, but uh, there's there's a variety of things Has that you can do. Does it help with your juggling to to play disc golf? Um, you could if you enjoy juggling. 
The rest of your family juggles. That's not your yes, they do. Forte. However, yeah, I yeah. would say you were one of the founders of our unicycle football. Uh, we did play some unicycle football uh, about a month ago. We started that, that and that was a lot of fun. I think the, the kids really enjoyed that. And it's that part of the unicycle, adding something of that, catching and throwing, there was a there's a lot going on because you're keeping your balance and you're trying to do things and to be able to, to do, um, to throw and catch at different stages of your riding was really, um, was a lot of fun and a good challenging for everybody. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was good. great. It was great. So disc golf and circus are something you can start at any time. You can yes, you can. Old dog, new trick. We have a young dog who will be doing some tricks later. Can't wait. <laughs> And then the, really, the saddest thing, well, certainly not the saddest thing, one of the sad, one of the many little sad things about the pandemic was you, oh, hold on, this is the creature that keeps making those noises. Yes. We're Hello. talking here, you're later. One of the small sad things about the pandemic was you and Leah were part of our adult circus class, and we were yeah. just getting ready to start working on acts for the show. And so I hope that when we go back live, you'll pick that. Oh, we'll up. be there. We will be there. It was a lot of fun. And it really made us appreciate some of the simpler things that you teach in 101. Right. It made us appreciate what they could do because some of that stuff is not easy. They make it look easy. The kids make it look easy. They really do. And uh, as an adult to be able to do it, took a lot of uh, extra effort and but uh, we are looking for Yike, and the, um, yeah. Lair, another mom who's a member of the unicycle club when she finally could ride when she got riding she's like now I understand why the kids love it so much this sense of accomplishment it is wonderful. it's a great sense of accomplishment and it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it once you get your balance right um and you can ride and once you start worrying there, about making a fool out of yourself and Correct. Just, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't don't worry about. Uh, there's pl we've all started somewhere. Um, come out to Unicycle Club. Come out to Juggling Club. Sign up for classes because you can get so much out of it. Um, more than you even realize. Um, it's just incredible uh, thing to do with your with your time if you have it. Well, thank you so much for sure. being on the show and. If yeah. people all register for our online classes, they'll see you at unicycling, they'll see they will. your family at juggling. And when we do Zoom shows, usually you're there helping. We are. Well, yep. the, we'll, 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 we'll be there one way or another. Thanks for having me. All right, thank you very much. All right. Bye. Go look at the video from Elliot's class today. He did amazing. I know, I saw it, it is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Because even even now during the pandemic, these kids are still learning and growing, and it's their sense of accomplishment makes me feel better. So, yeah. right, and just to see what he did today was a huge step in the right direction for him mentally and physically um, to be able to get over some of those hurdles, um, literal hurdles. Uh, was just but that's something that people don't understand. Yeah, when we're teaching kids to flip, fly, and fling. Yep. They're also learning all these life skills, focus, persistence, so and teamwork. And really, a lot of it is mental, like anything else. You think of circus yep. as being physical, it's very mental. It is. Um, and there's so much strength in uh, agility and endurance. And um, you already mentioned fun. the teamwork part. It is, it's just to see the kids work together and to accomplish what they have some in a short period of time, depending on what you're trying to achieve, but the growth of all of the kids, um, it's just, it's very uh, rewarding to see and to know that they're um, getting, getting some great life skills in the process. Well, thank you again for being my guest. Thanks for your whole you family. Bet. And I'll see you at your <laughs> sure. next class. You bet, I'll be there. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so the dog, the bird, the dogs, you've heard them. Um, you, you don't have to hang out for this. Uh, you, you, the audience, have heard them making noise uh, because they wanted to be performing. So you're at the end.
We're going to bring maple on in a minute, but first, since we're near the holidays, awkward pause. I'm going to give you some incredible holiday suggestions. Circus Harmony has these garden stakes. This is actually two pieces. We have three different designs. I'm going to show you two. These are garden stakes that look like a Calder mobile. If you don't know who Alexander Calder was, he was an amazing artist. He did some circus sculptures. But you can have this in your yard. It's fabulous. One of the other designs is this, and then there's a third design that I don't have here. So these circus garden stakes, special for you, my up in the air audience, just $10 each. There are three different designs. They're a little bit of a drag to ship, but if you call us or message us uh, on the website, on Facebook, we would be happy to bring them downstairs and you can pick them up at City Museum Circus Garden Stakes. And if you don't have a garden, you can put them in a potted plant. They're really cool. And actually, uh, Lou, who was just here, put some cement in a bucket and put one in that. And there you have instant sculpture. So right now, you heard them in the background. Uh, we're gonna bring Maple on and she might have another gift idea. So this is the awkward moment where we move the camera down to Maple level. There's Maple. And Maple would like to show you uh, a trick. Look out Maple, because this is the tunnel of love. So Maple, ready, tunnel. Good girl, and tunnel. Good girl, and tunnel. Tunnel, come on. So Maple learned this trick really easily. I'm gonna try something that she's never done before. Tunnel, okay, Maple, get the coffee. Get the coffee, peek it in the tunnel. She has never done this before. Bring me the coffee. Hey, where's my coffee? No, in the tunnel. You were doing so good, I was so impressed. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Bring me the coffee. Ta-da! You get a cracker. Yeah, we have birds, so they have crackers for treats. This is indeed our Defy Gravity coffee. It's delicious coffee. Guatemalan, Colombian, whole bean, roasted by community beans here in town. When you buy it, it supports our Flying Children Scholarship Fund. Last week, somebody bought eight bags, so some of you are going to be getting coffee for the holidays. If you're looking for what to get me, you can always buy me coffee or a cool mug. All right, maple, tunnel. Thank you for bringing me the coffee. So, could you get out of the tunnel, please? Tunnel, pick it, pick it directly. Go to the circus. Go to the circus. We will remove the tunnel. Right, tunnel. So, when you're doing dog training, one of the things you want to do is string tricks together, like Maple just did. She did the tunnel trick, and then she brought me coffee. She's also been working on combining her walking. Could you come over here, please? Okay. So she can. I know we're going to show them that in a minute. She can walk on her hind legs, but she can also dance. So we've been combining walking and dancing, and walking and dancing. And then she has the command to rise up. Can you rise up? Rise up. Ta da! Look at you combining all your skills. What a good girl you are. All right, so don't forget. Coffee, garden steak. You go home. Stay in place except when you're driving by to get your coffee or your garden steak. One other thing you can do for the holidays. Could you get me a club? Could you go to the circus and get me the club? I only have two. I need that juggling club. Could you bring me that juggling club? Bring me the club. That's a good girl. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go back to the circus. If you want to learn to unicycle or juggle, you can do our classes online. A circus class gift certificate is a great, great gift. One size fits most, no pieces to lose. And we can also do a special circus workshop for your holiday gathering on Zoom, wherever people are in the country. If you order it in advance, we can ship them some props. They can be juggling and hula hooping and balancing feathers, spinning plates. So just message us through any of the social media or through our website, circusharmony.org, and we can bring the, sick, the joy of circus to you for the holidays. 
But if you want to sing for Hanukkah, you better come by and get that coffee or those garden steaks because it starts this week. All right, thank you, Miss Maple. Oh, Maple always likes to end by jumping through a hoop of fake fire. So it is Hanukkah, the festival of life. Ready? Hop. Maple. Hop. Maple. Hop. So give it up for Miss Maple. And we're going to go get your friend. So if you could, thank you. Go on. Good girl. And now that bird that you heard screaming in the background will end today's live stream. Awkward moment when we switch uh, the computer here and move our set around. It's a one woman show. Well, one woman, one bird, and one dog show. Not sure if you can see that. Still not sure you can see it. So sorry. Thanks for staying with us. Okay. And now, don't walk in front of your camera. This very loud bird, say hello, Tico. Say hello, Tico. What do you say? She didn't know I was going to ask her to speak on camera. What do you say? She's shy about talking in public. What do you say? What do you say? Nothing. Can you say hello? Yes, but she's not going to do it now. And so, I'm going to use you to close the show. Give me a kiss goodbye. And if you could close our show. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I did it. Okay. Now, if you could close the show. Good. What about all those letters? You've heard of Vanna White. This is Vanna Green. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Okay, a nice ta-da. The end. So that's the end of our show for today. Don't forget to contact us for garden stakes. Visit us online at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. On YouTube, if you go to the show The Balancing Act, you can see the Bailey Family Unicycle Act. It's wonderful. Really, a lot of people said it was their favorite part of that whole show, although there are a lot of wonderful parts of that show. So if you go to Circus Harmony's YouTube page, look at The Balancing Act. The other thing that's on the YouTube page, and we just put it up today, is the trailer, the teaser, the promo video for our next show, which is Sister City Circus. To celebrate the 60th anniversary of Stuttgart, Germany, and St. Louis, Missouri being sister cities, we partnered with Circus Circuli in Stuttgart, and their students and our students met online and created a show together. And then we took those six acts and went out and filmed them at iconic landmarks in both cities. And the result is Sister City Circus. The trailer is up now. You can also see it on all our social media. On December 19th, we will be premiering the full 15 minute video on Circus Harmony's YouTube page next Tuesday on the Up in the Air live stream. Uh, they're gonna stay up late and we're gonna have guests from Circus Circuli in Stuttgart. So mark your calendars now. See you here next Tuesday. Meanwhile, don't forget Garden Steaks Coffee. Book a show, we can do a Zoom show for you or a Zoom workshop. And we will have our January classes up really soon. <gasps> One more thing, this is so cool. We've never done this before. Next week, we're partnering with Silver Lining Cocktails, where you order cocktails online, they deliver them to you, they're in a container that can be refrigerated for up to three weeks. So you can order next week and 10% of everything you order will go to support the work of Circus Harmony. So I don't usually promote drinking and circus at the same time. Actually, I never promote drinking, but in this case, the cocktails are gonna be really fun. They're gonna be circus and holiday themed. And if you keep an eye on our social media, we'll be telling you more about it. Uh, they deliver on, on the weekends silver lining cocktails next week. So you can get enough for your end of Hanukkah party, your Christmas party, your Kwanzaa party, and even for New Year's. And save it in the refrigerator and gift cards too. If you buy gift cards for other people to, to order from silver lining, that'll count towards helping Circus Harmony. Thanks so much. And to see what you're helping, 
don't forget to watch our Sister City Circus or any of our other videos that are on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in to Up in the Air, and thanks for letting us make your day a circus day. I'm Jessica Hentoff. Bye. That never works. When I press it, it never works. <laughs>